Okay, getting ready for bed. Put on my nightcap that my wife made. That's right, I wear a nightcap to bed. Keeps to, actually it's a little chilly in this room for some reason at night, St. Louis. Um, oh, I have a choice, right? This is uh, some of the, my, uh, whatever it is, uh, my smoothie that I made this morning. But I pimped it up when I threw it. I put some more, put, I didn't have it, but I put uh, black cherry juice in there. Real concentrated, you know, red, real organic black cherry juice. And between that, or I can open up this fine bottle of uh, 19 Crimes, new brand, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon wine. I'm not going to do the wine. You're actually not supposed to drink wine at night. They, they say, they, you know, I'd rather do the black the black cherry so I'm gonna do the black cherry you know that's much better for you well it's black cherry mixed with a little bit of the well mixed with the smoothie of this morning the smoothie got a lot of stuff in it I won't even get into it you know but a lot of stuff but I got um oh before I go to bed I gotta do a bunch of things for a good first of all I'm reading this book here because ADOS conference, right? Just got it from the library here in St. Louis. St. Louis got a great library, a great, great, great library. Woof, at least the, really. This has a great library. Hey, look, they're gonna have a Tai Chi class next Wednesday. I'm gonna go to. This will be the last time. Well, I'm leaving shortly after that. Maybe that day. I don't know. Tai Chi class, so I get back into my Tai Chi. Um, but uh, you know, see, I'm I'm reading this uh, the book here. Now, here's the first thing I learned. From me, this, uh, where do we go from here? You know, chaos or community. This is Martin Luther King uh, Jr.'s or one of his final books, I guess. I guess they have yeah. uh, other books. Uh, uh, King Le uh, part of the King Legacy series. What am I doing? I'm trying to read. I got glasses. I don't need. Glasses. I can't read with those glasses. It's not reading glasses. Uh, all labor. All labor has dignity. Stride toward freedom. The Montgomery story. Uh, Thou dear God. Prayers that open hearts and spirits. Uh, Trumpet of Conscience and Why We Can't Wait. This is the last book in this legacy series, I guess. So I'm reading this now because of the conference. Uh, so I'll finish it. When I, when I, when I don't worry about it, I'm going to get back. So I'll read a little bit tonight before I go to bed. But I got, look, I got a note. I got an email from my wife. Big news in the house, huh? Good morning, dear. How's it, um, how's it, how are you doing? This groundbreaking news is making headlines all over Alice. Alice being, you know, Alice, Alice South Africa being, um, well, Ed Decaney is the, you know, the closer pronunciation of the, of the areas in the Eastern Cape. And surrounding villages and locations. So we, we don't really call them townships, we call them locations, okay? So just so you know, it's the, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, um, cows are done, she put a little cow thing in there, it's matter. Are dropping dead every other day, and the uh, and the great speculation around it, it's a drought. Woo! It's a drought. They're having a drought in Alice, right? So, uh, so I told you they were having a, uh, uh, so little rain. Seriously, about seven days throughout the whole winter. We're there in winter right now in southern Africa, and it's like they was, they've only had the winter means rain, you know. So they haven't had rain in southern Africa in a long in a long time. Um, they only had seven days in this whole winter season. Winter to get started in June. Well, woof, that's what she's saying. Um, I guess you know at night you get some mist, you know, get some moisture at night, but rain, real rain, hasn't come. We are suffering water, water scarcity. Sales have dropped about seventy percent. Retail owners and, and, and entrepreneurs um, alike are crying crocodile tears. Woo, this is serious. Township water has been cut off for months now. The same uh, like when we were at Basisa's house, we, we lived in this, in this big house, whatever happened. They, they would cut the water all the time, you know. It's like you cut water and then every, like a few hours a day you get water so everybody fills up or whatever it is. Okay. Basically, you know, I always say, you know, you got to just invest and get a, 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 a borehole to, to go down there. That's, that's one of the things you got to do when I get back. Um, has been cut off for, uh, for months for months now. The same like when we were at the Caesar's house. Um, I've started uh, working, uh, making a, a jumbo, since she makes, started doing, you know, doing crafts, doing crafts, doing uh, uh, des uh, design and stuff like that. She's also, um, she also makes samosas, really good samosas. 
She says she's making a jumbo samosas, almost the size of my small face. Well, no, no. So up to the uh, so she's up to the price of thirteen rand each. Okay, I'm but um, uh, then I'm making less. Okay, then she goes into this whole thing like that. Oh, please don't forget to send me pitch pics of you in the snow. She thinks it's snowing right now because I'm up north because it's, it's, it's summer, it's winter down there. I don't know. She, we know we're just going to winter. I, I, I wrote her back already. I had to tell her, you know, winter doesn't really, well, the snow doesn't really start coming into November. You know, when I'll be in for just probably November, but we'll see what happens. I'll be back by the time the snow starts really coming. Uh, my understanding of Tulsa is improving or she's actually, she speaks, her, her mother tongue is, is Afrikaans and she speaks English and Afrikaans and she, we live in a closer area so she's learning but she's understanding more Tulsa. It's like me, I, under, I, can't, I don't speak the language but you, you start understanding it more and more and more, okay? Uh, just like I said, uh, um, I want to understand more than speaking. I recently discovered my biological father's surname is um, Akana. Uh, comes from historic royal clan of Sutu. A uh, Sutu is like this language of the of the, of the Lesotho people. You know, you have Af you have South Africa, and then there's a, a country right in the middle of South Africa called Lesotho. It's a mo the mountain thing. When you see Black Panther, there's one with the blankets and all that. With the okay, it doesn't matter. You'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, so she's she's learning more about her culture too. Just like just like I learned in this trip, I didn't realize. I didn't actually I didn't notice. But you know, my my my, my grandmother's side. You know, we're part. Um, Pogichi, you know, Gullah from the South Carolina, you know, the Gullah people, and and full uh, blood Mohawk. It's kind of interesting. So she's learning her stuff too. I'm not sure if he was born Sutu or, or, or Tosa. After after all, Daddy, she talking about her father. My facial features and body structure does resemble Sutu more than Tosa. My mother is a definite bush bush bushman color. They say color, but you know, she's from the bush. The original people of South Africa. She's very dark skin. My name Gertrude, great wisdom, and daughter of, of uh, uh, Kakana. Uh, 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 well, Kakana means uh, uh, wisdom. Uh, wow, I'm, anyway, but anyway, she, she's going to say, uh, proud, proudly me, your lovely wifey, uh, uh, Gertie. So I wrote her back anyway. So I, I got a, news, all kinds of news. I'm so glad uh, Gertie, my wife, is doing well. Um, and I'm doing well here too, I think, you know, I'm just things are just moving along. I, I'm, I'm sort of missing her, you know, I want to get back there. Not sort of, definitely, you know. So anyway, so I just wanted to give you that little update. I mean, this just an update, but a, a, a whole thing on, the, ooh, stuff is happening. We'll see what's happening in the world. Things are changing, climate change, you know, no, 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 no. Ooh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is a short report from me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to bed. Let you know from A, Reality, different than reality in Southern Africa, different than reality in a bunch of places. From a reality of the eight ADOS, that would be A D O S, American descendants of chattel slavery, or the North American descendants of chattel slavery. Good night.